commercial loggers in the largest indigenous forest in Kenya rushed to beat the deadline to harvest exotic trees. This follows the recently lifted ban on logging. At this tree plantation, cypress trees planted more than 20 years ago are felled, ready to be sold for timber. We are monitoring what's happening on the ground and working with the government to ensure indigenous trees like cedar are not felled. But what we are currently talking about is exotic trees that are planted for timber harvesting. So this is a lot of waste. Samuel Osei shows us a 33-year-old pine plantation that is going to waste as a result of windfalls. The trees are meant to be cut down when they mature to allow new trees to be planted. Today we have what you call the Paris Agreement. The Paris Agreement, which Kenya sentenced to, has it that we have to have our carbon sinks right. And when we have our carbon sinks, this can only assist when you remove plantations, then you plant the new, the new young plantations. The government imposed the logging ban in 2018 to stop deforestation. Since then, forest cover has increased significantly, but the country's forest service agency says it has lost more than $200 million in the last five and a half years. We're talking about trees that have now matured and are ready to be harvested or they'll die. But environmentalists are concerned about the impact if this is not properly regulated. These are elders from the Ogiek, a forest community that helps protect indigenous trees such as cedar and others that have grown here for hundreds of years. The law in theory is sound, but the problem is some decision makers manipulate the rules for their own interest. All forest stakeholders should work together to keep the forest safe. Back at the plantation, forest workers mark the trees that are being tracked away for sale. The stamp shows that what has been felled is legal, approved and not indigenous, but many doubt the new government policy. They argue the ban should be reinstated to keep protecting Kenya's trees. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Eastern Mao Forest, Kenya.